It is December 15th. This is definitely the biggest snowstorm uh, that we've gotten this year. Come all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come. There's something about making fresh tracks across plainly fallen snow that is uh, kind of an art. Going in for my last scoop of silage. This is what we call the grower one ration. for the lighter cattle and I think I'm gonna have to do some scooping of bunks scooping snow out of some bunks before I can feed it All right that's it for loading the first load so here's the nice thing about scooping snow out of the bunk one snow is very light two snow is also water and so if it gets mixed with the feed it's totally fine because just makes their feet a little wetter. So here we go. I'm gonna scoop this one out a little bit. They're waiting for me because they're hungry. See, it ain't perfect, but it'll do the job. Delivered in the bunk. Luckily, the wind blew this bunk pretty clean. So sometimes the wind hurts you and builds up snow drifts in the bunk, and sometimes it helps you. So I'm not even going to scoop this one. Call me lazy, but I uh, it'll buff out. up here to the last pen now you can kind of see the wintry wonderland they're ready for it I'll probably have to scoop some on their bunk all right I'll have to do some more scooping Ugh. I got a long ways to go considering I've only gone a few steps. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, we're living on a prayer. Halfway. The thing about scooping snow um, on the first day is it's a lot easier to scoop it out before it's gotten refroze back in there or gotten uh, froze with some like leftover silage or something it's a lot easier to scoop out when it's just a fresh fallen light fluffy snow all right y'all remember earlier remember earlier when i said snow is light after all the scooping I've done today, I take that back. It doesn't feel so light anymore. Would you look at that? My recruited help showed up.
They got a shovel and everything. Here, shovel it, shovel it outward, shovel it towards the road. Look at him go. MVP. Stop, my nose is running. <laughs> Several things um, about this morning. Uh, one, all the tractors started real easily. So that was nice. It wasn't super cold. So it's not like frigid out here. I mean, I can hold this camera with my glove and my fingers aren't like freezing so that's another good thing and a uh, third thing was it's not really super windy either so it was tolerable this morning the cattle are pretty they look pretty healthy they all came up to eat real well and um but the storm's supposed to go storm's supposed to go on for another 24 hours so we'll see what they look like tonight and then uh, probably Monday morning, there might still be some snow coming. And uh, so we're going to be doing this scooping snow, moving snow, piling snow um, into tomorrow. So maybe I'll keep showing you footage of that. But as for today, I got to get inside so I make it to church on time. Okay, so... It's still snowing. It's lighting up a little bit. There you can see the bunks look pretty clean. The ration actually kind of melts the snow for the most part. And then uh, because I did a lot of that scooping, it's pretty clean. If I would have left the snow in the bunks, a lot of that snow would still be here and it'd be kind of messy. That's one of the reasons we scoop bunks is because it creates less of a mess the next day. Another reason is because we're willing to do pretty much anything we can to benefit that animal uh, and keep it healthy and if the cattle are eating and eating uh, as much dry matter as they as they need uh, their immune system is much stronger we want to keep their immune system up so it's battling anything that could could uh, could harm them also the more they eat on these cold days uh, the the easier it is for them to stay warm so that's how cattle regulate their body temperature so even when they're out in this cold, they're very well adapted to it. And so they don't, um, it's not really too hard on them. When they have access to plenty of feed, uh, their rumen, when it's digesting that feed, creates a lot of heat inside of them. And so that's, that's how they stay warm in the winter months. Because there's a lot of cattle on feed all across the United States. They grow really well in the winter. You just got to give them plenty of feed. These ones here are eating a little over 30 pounds a day. But some of the bigger ones we have are eating uh, over 50. But that's, um, that's, that's a lot of that is, is moisture weight. But I think they probably eat 20 to 30 dr pounds of dry matter per day if you if there's no water in the ration. Eat it up, scout. Throw them cat. humans in that the winter months um, you know can have some proneness to sickness especially when there's temperature swings up and down and so uh, we've got a couple sick ones today that we're gonna have to doctor uh, these two right here 
So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these two in the chute. I'm gonna give them some shots of antibiotics. And then I'm gonna put them in a separate pen so we can keep an eye on them and uh, make sure they get better. I'm not wearing gloves so that I can uh, run the camera easier. I have them in my pockets though. All right, we're gonna get you some medicine, okay? All right, the first thing we're gonna give here is called a bolus. This kind of helps the animal uh, get a little jump start. This would be like us humans taking extra vitamins in the morning to try to get over a cold or something. So you take the needle off the syringe. Part of why is because it's so cold that the antibiotics barely flow through here. So it helps to have a bigger... Uh... All right, there's your shot right there of antibiotics. Uh, a lot of people uh, online say that uh, farmers um, fill their animals with antibiotics. The Chipotle commercials will tell you that cattle are pumped full of antibiotics. This is 30 milliliter uh, that goes into a uh, 600 pound animal. And so when you, you think about how much we weigh versus a, a steer, it's about a third of that. Think about how much cough syrup you take at night. Um, that's what we're dealing with here is a very, a very small dose to the animals to help them get better. Um, plus um, all antibiotics um, that are given to livestock animals um, there's a strict withdrawal time to where uh, by the time they would be butchered for meat or milked, um, if you're talking about dairy, um, there is no way any antibiotic residue could make it into the food supply in meat or milk. And uh, so every time you see something that says antibiotic free meat or antibiotic free milk, uh, that just means that animals weren't given antibiotics in their lifetime. Um, it does not mean that there's antibiotics in regular milk or meat. There is no such thing as meat or milk filled with antibiotics. Um, on a dairy farm, if an animal, uh, if a milk cow was found with antibiotics, uh, if there was, there was antibiotic residue found in the milk, they dump all that milk down the drain. And it's the same with um, a beef sear. Um, if it was harvested and there was antibiotic residue found in the meat, they would throw all that meat away. So that's what antibiotic, um, that's what giving antibiotics looks like to cattle. All right, we got the needle back on. When it's this cold, the liquid moves very slowly. All right. Once we have given the steer antibiotics and a bolus, we uh, make a mark on the animal today is sunday so we we uh, make a mark here at the front but uh that that way we know that it's been worked and it's been given antibiotics um, not that this animal uh, will be used for meat or anything anytime soon probably only halfway through its life cycle um, but uh, we keep track of these animals to make sure they're getting better and eventually uh, when they get better they'll join uh, the pin uh, that they correspond with as far as how much they weigh so that's a little bit about doctoring cattle even in the snow. All right, I worked both the both the steers here. We're gonna put them over in the sick pin. So release them from there. I'm gonna go shut the chute off. Gonna go uh, open into the sick pin. This is a cool little gate we have that my grandpa designed. I 
allows us to bring cattle around the barn and into this alleyway here. Dad's pushing snow. I'm trying to clean the yard up a little bit. Alright guys, hope you get better. Alright, well it's getting dark. Dad's cleaning the yard a little bit more. A lot harder to walk around. When there's 10 inches of snow, I'm out of breath. <laughs> This right here, folks, is what it's all about. Cattle at the bunk eating, 